All right, guys, coming to you from Whistler, BC. The board briefing is for September 22nd. That's Thursday. Um, we're going to start with our warm up, and it's going to be a three round warm up. And we're going to go eight different movements, specific warm up. We're going to be reviewing the GHD, showing you some scaling options, which can include some med ball sit ups, some just normal ab mat sit ups, and even some V ups if you would like to for this workout. Now, uh, there's going to be three progressions, some half range of motion, three quarter range of motion, uh, making sure we get that leg action in there for those GHDs. Then we're going to have a little bit of wad prep, and we got two sets of 20 seconds on the bike. So the bikes come first, rowers come second, okay? 20 seconds on the bike uh, or rower, 10 seconds rest, 20 seconds of GHDs or sit-ups or V-ups or med ball sit-ups, 10 seconds of rest, and again, two rounds. Um, for the workout, we want to sort of try to keep the bike ride for, uh, under a minute, 20 seconds. So we're going to be going pretty hot and heavy on that bike or rower. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, workout, 10 minute AMRAP, 15 GHDs, 14 or 20 calories on the bike or rower. All right, that's the RX version. Level 2, 15 GHDs, 2 parallel. So making sure we just get flattened out. We don't have to get extended or overextended. Uh, and then 14 and 20 calories again on the bike, then the rower. And then level one is gonna be 15 sit-ups. Now with the level one, if you're in challenge yourself like I talked about earlier and do something like a med ball sit-up or V-up, um, be my guest. I would leave single leg V-ups out of it and, and work on ab mat sit-ups instead of single leg V-ups, okay? Uh, 15 of those followed by nine and 15 calories on the air bike respectively uh, or rower. Now, we can do two things on this workout. One of them is, or just one thing, we can start on opposite um, machines. So one person starts on the GHD, one person starts on the bike or a rower. Um, that's gonna still limit to us to about six people on the GHD and bikes rotating through. Um, we might have to be a little bit patient and work through that like we did the other day with the rope climbs. All right, post-workout. Again, um, this is gonna be not on your time, but there's not gonna be a cl uh, cl clock on on this workout. It's for, um, for skill work and for good movement. 21, 15, nine, of GHD hip extensions, which we've been working on in the past, and then um, 21, 15, nine of GHD back extensions. So that's a new one for us. I'm gonna post a link in the athlete's notes to what that is, all right? So you'll do 21 hip extensions, 21 back extensions, 15 hip extensions, 15 back extensions, and then nine, nine. And the way to maybe do this is partner up with maybe two or three people, do 21, of one, get off, let another person do 21, and then sort of just whip and switch and change all this stuff uh, while we're going through it. All right, guys? Main goals in the workout, five rounds-ish. If we're looking to get five rounds, we're gonna have to have a good steady pace on this workout. We don't wanna like spike first round and then drop off at the end. Just a nice, smooth, steady pace through that workout at about 80%. All right, guys? Enjoy your workout and we'll be back tomorrow.